On the way to this spot, I was actually afraid that I won't see the wall. Damn! That's a lot of cans. Hello guys, my name is Doak and first of all, I gotta say one big fat thank you because as you already know, we reached 1 million subscribers. It's amazing, but more about that in the special 1 million subscribers video which will come before Christmas. Right now, let's get to the point of this video which is indeed smashing cans. Oh. Smashing cans is probably the weirdest technique of using a spray paint that I know. This technique actually makes some sense. It's a great way how you can get rid of the very last bit of a color that's inside of the cans. And also it is a technique that allows you to create this wild effect on a wall. Yeah, people usually use it for backgrounds, maybe sometimes for the fillings. However, you know me, you have seen the title. I'll try to make a whole painting with this technique only. So yeah, well, let's do it. Except the traditional protection that I use, a respirator, this time I'll also apply glasses, protection glasses, which will cover my eyes because I'm kind of afraid that something might go wrong. So we will need spray paint and this time we actually won't need caps at all because we got this. This is a tool that I created for this video and basically it's just a stick with a very sharp screw in it. And without further ado, let me show you what I mean by smashing cans. You take a can and you smash it and you paint. Well, you won't use all the color and it's empty. And this is how I'm gonna make a piece or whatever it will be. Let's do it. This is gonna be fun. I created a pretty small hole inside of this can and look at the difference. Maybe I'll be able to do at least some details. It also matters if the can is full or almost empty. These were almost empty. This one is pretty full.
Some of these cans were sitting in my storage for years. And right now, this seems like a pretty good use of them. Oh la la! This painting technique is so pure and violent. It's once you do the hole in the can, there is no way to go back. There's no way to adjust it. You just have to do something. And yeah, it's a good form of relaxation. Ouch. I'm actually bleeding. Whatever. <laughs> You know what I'm thinking about. Let's try it.
no you can't stop it once it goes <laughs> nice nope I don't want to use black anymore but I can't stop it Okay, these are all the cans that I wasted. The painting is done, or maybe it's not. I don't really know. It's been a strange experience, but also it was quite interesting and enjoyable to paint like this. And if you want to talk about the result, I actually like it a lot. It's, it's different, it's abstract, and yeah. If you're gonna like it too, thumb up would be awesome. And before I show you the final result, let me show you this. My brand new Doke sticker pack number two. Yep, this is my second sticker pack ever. And let me just say that it's a lot better than the previous one. We added a lot more stickers. Like right now you have two stickers of every single design. There is eight designs. You get two caps, which I used for some of my paintings. You get some clear stickers, throwy stickers. In every single pack, there is a original sticker signed by me, by this hand. And yeah, if you want to take a detailed look at my new stickers pack, go to doko.com. Link is in description and get one for yourself. They are highly limited. The first edition is sold out forever. And so here is your chance to get the second one. This is it. 